I haven't seen Man of Steel in a while. Like, a while. Not even to rewatch it before Zack Snyder's Justice League. I don't know if it's the film I don't want to return to, which I really want to watch again. If it's just simply I haven't found the time to. But there was always something in the film that stuck with me. And this is the first flight scene. Why am I so different from them? That quote resonates with me severely. Like, I'm scared on how much that resonates with me. I may sound like I'm saying, like, I'm not like the other boys, but that's essentially what I'm saying. I'm not into sports, I'm not into video games, I like good music and not rap. I'm not into hanging out at the mall. Ignore this, this is besides the point. But the point is, I'm not like into everything the cool hip teenagers are into today. When I was younger, I was into video games like Minecraft and... Oh god. Fortnite. As much as I hate to say it, my first time I switched over, like I, I made the conscious decision to dedicate my life to films. Is 2019 Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. It fascinated me with the concept of sequels which led me to the cinematic universes and it all went downhill from there. I'm able to watch No Country for Old Men's coin flip scene and feel riveted while a teen today needs to watch a CGI infested film. I am human. I enjoy this. Assemble. No! But I much prefer this. And I've been told that I'm persistent. Now, I'm not fooling myself, sir. Having been raised with the self-esteem movement so popular in schools... With this scene, the suit is real. Real Marvel. Paired with the amazing double award, Oscar award-winning Hans Zimmer. Well, it, 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 Lebo is, you know, Lebo is my... This score flight is probably one of my favorites. When the door is open, he uses his epic but subtle... Bwom bwom. G giving a sense of, oh, something is happening. And w when Superman just like starts jumping, he tricks us by building up the score thinking he's got it all figured out at first try. But no. He fails. As anyone can, I can relate to failing. I fail in minuscule things every day, which gets the people that live with me annoyed. Saying that I'll do something and they sort of believe me, but I never end up doing it if it does not pertain to me or something I desire. Well, seeing Superman, someone as so powerful as him, learning to fail to do his trademark feature makes me feel less bad about me not doing what I said I'd do and not completing that task. And what just drives his home is to not see him give up. He stops and, re and reflects on what he didn't do right is just wow. I haven't seen something like this in another comic book superhero film. Hans Zimmer comes and comes again with the drums, closing up on his fist, taking his time before launching himself. Something we all should do. Then he flies. At first seeing him laughing, smiling when he was flying was great and wholesome. Something we'd all do if we were first flew. But something in something seeing him focused con and concentrating on his flying maneuvers is so much stronger. Because he's concentrating and taking like knowing what he's doing. He flies as, as if it is his 420th time. When he looks down back down on earth I'd only imagine what his what must be going through his head. Writing writing this made me realize that in the three minutes and twenty seven second runtime this takes, Mr. Zack Snyder had packed in had packed in two themes: never give up and focus and concentrate before doing a task. If my math is right, the funny thing is I'm writing this while I'm in math. 
only 0.2% of the runtime, two themes were prevalent. And remember, this is still a CGI-infested film, so seeing a scene as powerful as this, and it's very refreshing to see to see in a comic book superhero film, which is usually lo a lo noted as a lower denomination of film. So this is why I love the first flight scene by Zack Snyder's Man of Steel.